Hello friends, today we're going to talk about putting together a capsule wardrobe for this time of year um, and on how to get the most wear out of just a few pieces. So today we're going to be working with a seven piece capsule wardrobe. I'm going to show you each piece individually and then show you 10 different looks that you can create from this capsule wardrobe. So they're by no means the only ones you can make and you can most certainly mix and match a lot of these pieces with what you already have. But if you're looking to clean out your closet, get a fresh start for the new year, um, and then make sure that you still have decent workable wardrobe within that smaller capsule that you have whittled down to, then this is gonna be a great place to start. Okay, to start, let's talk about a very versatile piece, the chambray button down. And really, it doesn't have to be chambray, you can do anything. You can do a white one, a black one, gray, whatever, but I love chambray because I feel like it goes with just about anything, including denim, as long as the colors aren't too similar. So this one buttons all the way down because we're gonna be, as you'll see, we're gonna be using it as an outer piece as well as just a standalone piece. Next, we have just a basic t-shirt, which I'm sure we all have a million of. The trick is getting a cute one that you wanna wear out in public and doesn't have holes and stains from your kids all over it, right? So cute, comfy tee. Finally, we're going to add one last top, and that is a long sleeve top. This is kind of a waffle knit, so it's a thinner one that will last all the way through spring, um, but has a little bit of extra warmth in the long sleeves. I like that there's a fun little detail, but it's a solid color, so you get lots and lots of wear out of it. Next, let's talk some bottoms, okay? First thing we have is a pair of slacks. I love this olive green color because it's very, very versatile. It's a neutral, but it's still fun, still got a color to it. And these are high-waisted, so real mom-friendly. Tuck all that extra belly in that you don't want hanging over. Um, and then just a really classic slim cut. Next on the docket, we have this faux leather skirt. And the reason I love this is because this one's actually machine washable, um, not leather, so not super expensive, but it can be dressed up really, really cute. Also has an elastic waistband, so if you just wanna feel cute going out to lunch with friends, you can wear this too. So elastic weight skirt, slacks, and then comfy knit joggers. Every wardrobe needs a pair of these. That's the back. Um, and in a neutral color like this, can be worn with a million different things I'm about to show you. Finally, no capsule wardrobe would be complete without a dress because we all need to look pretty at one point or another, right? Um, this one has short sleeves, but as I'll show you in a minute, you can layer, of course, as need be. Um, and then pockets, of course, super important. I like this one because it's neutral colors, but they're striped, so it makes it a little bit more interesting. Okay, now let's see how these pieces can be put together. I am way too pregnant to model for you guys today, so we're gonna use my lovely helper. I actually need to name her, don't you think? Even though she's headless, let me know what you think in the comments if you have a good name for her. My little uh, Mary the mannequin, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna start with the t-shirt because t-shirts are super, super easy. Nobody's afraid of putting on a t-shirt, right? So let's get her dressed. Okay, super basic, super easy, totally mom-friendly, t-shirt, comfy pants. Okay, if this is a little bit too basic for you, wanna up-level it even more, have a hat, crossbody purse for going out on a date night, you could totally dress up this outfit as much as you wanted. But as far as the capsule wardrobe goes, there's a pretty basic one. Then what about our button-down shirt? Once you add a button-down shirt, you can really do a million different things with it. You can just unbutton it a little bit to show off the t-shirt. You can unbutton it all the way, which is kind of how I prefer. Wear it just like a jacket or tie it around the waist. Super cute, right? And that, that gives it just kind of that one extra piece to make it look like a really cohesive outfit. But of course, this outfit would also work with a million different cardigans, a million different jackets. The sky's the limit. Cute t-shirt, slacks, button down on top. All right, so we're getting back to the t-shirt here. And how about the comfy joggers? This one actually matches perfectly. Um, this might be something a little bit more um, like what you're used to wearing just around the house, but easily enough, you could, this can be dressed up with a million different things. Again, cute hat, headband, lipstick, um, cute bag, or how about a jean jacket thrown on top? A million different things, but super duper cozy. And and a great basic outfit to then add on from, from there or just wear it around the house, right? Um, finally, the skirt. I love t-shirts and skirts. I think it's just a fun juxtaposition of dressy, casual. This one would actually look really, really cute. I'm saving myself time and not pinning it on, but 
really, really cute with a tie on the side, right, at the waist. Um, emphasizes the waist, or you can just do the front tuck if you don't want to emphasize the waist as much. Would also look adorable with the chambray top, over top, or another cardigan. I love the idea of a jean jacket. If you've got one of those, throw it on anything, makes everything look cute. So those are our t-shirt outfits. Okay, moving on to our long sleeve waffle knit shirt. Again, like I said, thin enough to wear through spring, which is helpful. If you're in a really cold climate, you could wear a thick one for still several months to go, but I love this one personally, especially here in Arizona where it's only gonna be cold for a few more months. Um, all the bottoms we just used would look amazing. Look how cute this is. Be perfect for a date night, especially with a long necklace, some cute bangly earrings, dangly earrings, bangly bracelet, okay, my words. Um, uh, I just love that look together. You could also throw on the chambray top again. Um, I'm not actually not gonna show you guys all the different outfits you can make with just the chambray top, but we're just gonna show you the um, outerwear pieces, but also would look adorable buttoned up together as long as you either tie it at the waist or tuck it all the way in so that you, you get that fitted look at the waist. Um, anyway, I love that combo, it's probably my favorite one. If you're talking sweatpants, you can totally get away with a cuter top with some fun styling detail and cozy pants because just, again, that fun juxtaposition between slightly dressier and cozy. This one you might want to downplay a little bit, maybe a baseball cap and some sneakers. Super cute. Finally, back to our slacks. These two colors have been hot for a while and I love them, especially together. It's just kind of this earthy vibe, right? Um, especially if you had some uh, brownish color jewelry or hat or bag, would look super, super cute together. Again, also works with the chambray top, thrown on top if you need a little uh, extra warmth or just some extra style. Okay, finally, a dress. I know a lot of people do not think that you can style a dress many different ways because it's a one-piece outfit, which is kind of one of the things I love about dresses. So easy, throw it on, you're ready to go. But you really can add some pieces. All short sleeve dresses look amazing with any sort of outerwear. A flowy cardigan, a denim jacket, a chambray shirt, yeah. Totally works. Um, like I said, I love that this one has neutral colors but still has stripes, so it's some visual interest. If you're more of a super basic girl, you could just wear it with nothing. Maybe a super um, simple gold choker. This one would actually look really cute with a big white belt, some booties, sandals. Anyway, love, love, love dresses. They're probably my favorite thing to wear, especially when I have a waist, so I'm looking forward to that again. So I just love to show capsule wardrobes because I think a lot of people think they need oodles and oodles and oodles of things in their wardrobe to look cute and different every day. I'm the kind of person that does not like wearing the same thing every day. So I love seeing the flexibility of specific pieces. If you guys ever see something that you love in the shop and you wanna know how to put it together or what, a, what two or three other things you could buy to make them really work to maximum impact, just email me at bonnie at novally.co. I'm happy to show you some suggestions. Um, you can also comment on any of my social media channels and I'd love to walk you through it because it's one of my favorite things, styling all these great pieces in unique ways. Thanks for watching, bye guys.